سورة البروج It is a surah in which the companions are supposed to look at and the believers are supposed to look at and really get two benefits from it. One of those benefits it is for them to understand that ultimately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised them the greatest victory, which is going to be victory on the Day of Judgment, and that this dunya, a victory has been promised but in different ways. If you look at the stories that are mentioned in Surah Al-Buruj, you are painted a picture of two different types of victories that a believer is given. One, it is a victory that only comes on the Day of Judgment, meaning in this dunya, you are going to continue to suffer and victory actually never comes. But the moment that you pass away, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you victory at that moment. And the other way, it is a victory that is given to you in this life and also in the hereafter. In the story of the boy and the king, it is the first kind where victory is only given to them in the hereafter and not in this life. While in the other story, the story of Fir'aun and Thamud, victory is actually given to the believers in this life and then also in the hereafter. The companions radiallahu anhum ajma'in when this surah was revealed, they were living at a time that was extremely difficult for them. They were being tested. And this surah was really meant as a way for them to look at and find ease in the stories that they're being told. In them reflecting on these stories and putting themselves in, and them truly understanding the positions that they were in. It might be that some of them, and this was the reality of some of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, that they never got victory in this life, but their victory came in the hereafter. While some of the other companions of the Prophet ﷺ, they were given victory not only in this life, but they're also going to be given victory in the hereafter. You know, another interesting thing about this surah, it is that it, it forms kind of like a ring, meaning that if you were to look at the first verse and the last verse, they're very similar. And if you look at the second verse and the second to last verse, they're very similar. And it creates like a ring in where the beginning of the surah and the end of the surah are talking about the same thing. And the core message of this surah, it is that the believers are going to be victorious and they're going to be given ultimate victory. So in the beginning, you're told about the believer suffering, and at the end, you're told about a different kind of victory that is given to the believers. But ultimately, they're going to be given the greatest victory, which is them entering Jannah. And you know, the companions, radiallahu anhum ajma'in, this is the feeling that they were supposed to get from this surah, that it didn't matter the situation that we found ourselves in. It didn't matter that our lives were going to be sacrificed. It didn't matter that our families rejected us. It didn't matter that the people of our own town, that, that our, our relatives have turned against us because we have something greater. We've been given la ilaha illallah and this is a gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to whoever he wills. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this gift, it means that trials and tribulations are going to come right after. If that's the case, what other thing has Allah given you? He has given you this hope of on the day of judgment, I am without a doubt going to be victorious. I am going to come on the day of judgment and be victorious. No matter the situation that I was in in this life, no matter how much of a struggle it might have seemed like while I was living here, no matter how difficult it was for me to face what I was facing. You know, we live in a difficult time for the believers all over the world, whether it is what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease their affairs, or what is happening to our brothers in Sudan, what is happening to the believers in China, wherever it might be, the Muslims are suffering. And we might be thinking, thinking, Ya Allah, when is this all going to end? When am I going to find victory? When, 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 when is this going to end? And then a believer reminds himself that ultimately this is a place that he's going to suffer, that trials and calamities are going to come upon him. He's going to be tested in many, many different ways. But ultimately the promise has been made not only in this surah, but throughout the Quran and throughout authentic ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ, that eventually you are going to be given a victory. And for that day, we look forward to it, whether it is going to come in this dunya or it is going to come in the hereafter. And this is the purpose of this surah and the really reason why it even has the name that it has of Al-Buruj, which means the castles and the constellations. It is for you to actually be able to look at the skies and say to yourself, Ya Allah, look at what's above there and look at how small this dunya is. This dunya is one day going to end. And these castles, their purpose of it is to remind you that there is something greater out there. There is an appointed day that you are going to be going to. And that day, that's the day that you want victory. Ultimate victory on that day is the goal that you have. And before you get to it, obviously there, there's going to be many roadblocks on the way. There's going to be many obstacles. There's going to be many trials and calamities that you have to go through. But you continue to remind yourself through the surah and through the rest of the Quran, and especially in this month of Ramadan, that eventually victory is going to come. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.